Okay, so good afternoon to all of you. Am I audible? Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Yes, ma yes, audible, na? Okay, so yes, I will be taking your PSM class, okay? So the full form of PSM is uh, preventive and social medicine. Okay, so I will be taking class on that subject that is uh, preventive and social medicine. In short, it is PSM. Okay. So let us start with unit one. If you want, some of you can turn on your videos so that I can know that uh, you are able to follow me, whatever I'm saying. If you don't have any problem, you can turn on your video, some of you. Okay, so unit one, you please write down. The first unit is unit one. And the name of the topic is community health. We will be discussing about health here. Okay, write down unit one, community health. C-O-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y, community health. H E A L T H health. So here we will discuss all about health. Okay. So um, do you have any idea regarding health? What do you mean by health? Anyone? Maybe it's all about our body. Hmm. Our, uh, organs and just we. Hmm. And in simple way, how will you define health? It's the state of our body, ma'am. Yeah, means complete. When you are completely physically also healthy, when you are mentally also healthy, and when you are socially also healthy. When you are healthy in all the spheres, then it is known as a healthy person. Okay. So... Just a headline you write down. Health is a common theme. Health is a common theme. T-H-E-M-E. -E. Health is a common theme in most cultures. Health is a common theme in most cultures. C-U-L-T-U-R-E-S. Cultures. Health is a common theme in most cultures. Full stop. If you are not able to catch me, you please interrupt me, okay? You can ask me. Full stop. In fact, in fact, I-N-F-A-C-T. In fact, comma, all communities, in fact, comma, all communities, C O. Double M U N I T I E S. All communities have their concepts of health. In fact, comma, all communities have their concepts of health. H E A L T H health, comma, as part of their culture. As part of their culture. as part of their culture, full stop. Among definitions, among, A-M-O-N-G, among definitions, D-E-F-I-N-I-T-I-O-N-S, among definitions, still used, S-T-I-L-L, still used, U-S-E-D, used, comma, Probably the oldest is probably P R O B A B L Y. Probably, probably the oldest M is. Hmm? M M M Among M definitions, there that means there are lots of definitions about health. Okay, so among definitions. Sir, among definition. Hmm. Still used. Still, S T I L L. -L. Still used, U S E D. Among definitions, still used, comma. Probably, P R O B A B 
L Y probably probably the oldest is the oldest O L D E S T probably the oldest is that health is the oldest is that T H A T that health is the health is the health is the in between inverted commas you write down absence of disease a b s e n c e absence of disease absence of disease finish yes ma'am yes. okay so this is just an introduction okay about health like in any or any culture or any community the one wish everyone desire is to be physically mentally socially healthy okay physically healthy means free from all kinds of diseases mentally healthy mane if by chance uh, for example you are physically healthy no fever okay no diarrhea no dysentery nothing no heart problem nothing but you are mentally sick if you are mentally sick then also you will not be called as a totally healthy person mentally sick means it can be because of anxiety depression okay overthinking so all, all these are physically unhealthy especially uh, all this depression anxiety okay overthinking so all these things mostly mostly come during adulthood okay so that should not be okay everyone should be physically mentally and socially healthy if you have too much of a uh, mental problem you will have to get admitted to the hospital okay you will have to go to where will you go if you are mentally unhealthy where will you be admitted mental hospital ma'am yes mental hospital and also socially healthy socially healthy mane for example you all are classmates okay asim bubbly costav city asim carly all of you are classmates so if you don't have that com communication among each other if you don't talk well with each other then also you are you don't have a totally healthy relation with each other that also cannot define a healthy person okay you should be socially active socially also you should interact with each other talk with each other discuss play you should play you should go out together so all these things also create a sense of well being with each other because all of us lives in a society we don't stay alone okay we stay with a group of people at home we have family outside the family we have a society where we stay outside the society we have a community after the community we have a large group of people with whom we interact sometimes we get new people okay before uh, i might not know you you might not know me but now we know each other so we are talking with each other you can discuss with me anything i can also talk with you so in this way it will be a healthy relationship okay but relationship should always be healthy okay so this these three things all together combines a totally healthy person okay so uh, i will just show you one uh, screen um, here i just made one powerpoint are you able to see the powerpoint is it uh, yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am fine ঠিক আছে সো দিস ইজ ইউনিট ওয়ান কমিউনিটি হেলথ ওকে সো আই জাস্ট মেড দিস হেলদি আনহেলদি এন্ড আবিউজিভ ওকে ইন হেলদি হেলদি রিলেশনশিপ মিনস বোথ ইউ এন্ড ইউর পার্টনার আর কমিউনিটি কমিউনিকেটিং প্রপারলি মিনস কমিউনিকেটিং মানে ইন্টারেকশন টকিং ওকে ইউ আর রেসপেক্টফুল টু ইচ আদার ইউ রেসপেক্ট ইচ আদার্স ফিলিংস ইউ রেসপেক্ট ইচ আদার in terms of friendship in terms of anything 
you always respect. Maybe that person is your senior, you respect him or her as a senior. Uh, if, he, if he or she is a junior, so in a, like a, as your little brother or little sister, in that way also you can maintain a relationship respectfully. Then there should be trust, there should be honesty, equality, okay? Enjoying personal time away from each other also. It's not that only when you are together, like you are good with each other. As soon as like your class is over, you don't know each other anymore. So that is also not good. So even if, when you are not together also, if you still have that good relationship with the other person, then it is also called a healthy individual. Then making mutual choices. Okay, mutual choices always comes with understanding. Okay, next is economical or financial partners. So when you are, uh, for example, if you are in a business setup, Jordi, if you, uh, if you have a business setup and then you expect the other partner to help you out, maybe financially. Then if you have that trust, good bonding, good communication with your partner, then that partner can help you economically as well as financially. Arun, it's not only just about partner, but it's also about a team with whom you are working. There, in a team, there might be more than 10 people. There might be more than 20 people. There can be only one, two people, two partners, three partners, like that. But all these things go hand in hand. Okay, so this also defines a healthy person. Unhealthy, you may be in an unhealthy relationship, Jodi, no, none, not communicating. Means there is no communication at all. There is no like, uh, you don't even ask about each other, like, how are you? It's been so long. No, so no communication. Okay, then when you are disrespectful, even in your family also, if you are disrespectful to your parents, if you are disrespectful to your younger, younger, uh, what you say, younger brothers or sisters, then they, they will also quarrel or fight back against you. So that is also disrespectful. Next, not trusting. When there is no trust in a relationship, then trying to take control. Trying to take control money when someone is too much dominating or abusive. Then also the person is not reliable and it can be called as an unhealthy person. Next, only spending time together. Jodi, if you are only two friends and then you spend time only together and then when you separate again, you don't like each other. You don't know each other. So that is also not healthy. When you are together, you speak good. When you depart, you don't know that person. You speak decent that about the person with whom you are talking. That is very bad. Okay, so it causes unhealthy relationship and ultimately break out. Okay, then pressured into activities, any kind of activity, too much of pressurizing from a unit is also not good. Then unequal economic. Next is abusive. Abusive itself means when someone tries to take too much control over someone. Okay, abusive relationship, can it, how it will be? Communicating in a hurtful or threatening way. When a person or a team, when there is no, um, sorry, when there is no communication, okay, when the other person uh, treats or speaks too, uh, too loud, okay, it also cause hurtful or threatening way. Threatening way means when someone tries to be too much dominating over the other person or try to threaten through his or her words, then also it causes an abusive relationship. Next is mistreating. When you Mem, so now is Mem, so now is it? 